when I go f this way from left to right, I would feel the scales going against my skin. On the other direction, then I would feel something smoother because I'm going at with the scale. The sense of touch is central to our daily lives. But somewhat underappreciated. We think a lot about vision and audio as being so important to communicate with people. To interact with the world in any meaningful way, we need to use the sense of touch. And what we do is use the existing motor in a device and control it in a very advanced way. This is a watch face that looks like a high-end dress watch. And you actually feel it ticking away, and so it feels like this splendid mechanical object, um, which is what people love about high-end watches. What we're trying to do with haptic technology is let people feel things that aren't actually there. If you have a smartphone that has a touch screen, it is a touch screen in that you touch it, but it doesn't touch you back. The lack of ability to interact with these devices through the sense of touch means that we need to focus our vision on them, and that results in people walking around with their cell phones like that. Nick is uh, pressing with his fingers to close some virtual grippers, and then the haptic devices are letting him feel the weight of those boxes and even a little bit of haptic feedback, just something on the fingertips, could provide that really compelling sense of immersion that will let you train better, perform tasks better, and do more in that virtual world. Haptics is originally developed to work with radioactive materials in a safe way. People needed to work with those materials with a robotic arm but they found that when they controlled it, they couldn't do that in an accurate way because they couldn't feel what the robot was doing. So they created a haptic interface so that they could feel when the robot claw opened and closed. Over time, it's come out of the labs and into consumer devices. Well, first I feel enhanced with tactile effects bounce onto the screen. And then I feel um, the crackle of the fire. As the technology matures and the virtual sense of touch gets more and more accurate, what we think is real is going to start to blur with the virtual. Mm -hmm.